Blessings. Hello, welcome. My name is Ash, aka I Dream of Earth. Today, I would love to share with you my yoga rules. Ugh. And if you're a rebel like me, you might not like the way I'm terming this as rules. You might just be like, ah, oh, fuck these rules. I want to break them already. But I encourage you to just listen with an open heart, open mind, and yeah, just trust that, you know, take it or leave it. Listen, see what they have to offer you, and see if it ultimately works best for you and your yoga practice. So, number one rule, you are your own teacher. Ah, you are your own teacher, whether it's day one or day one million. <laughs> You are the teacher. Yoga is all about joining your breath with your body. And nobody can do that for you except for you. So while, you know, your teacher may be cueing you to do this or do that or do downward facing dog or do whatever, I encourage you to listen to the rhythm within and practice in your own way. If something doesn't feel right, trust that. And I know it's hard when we're not practicing in person at this point in time. Lots of things are online, so you might not be sure if your alignment is correct or your you know, posture is perfectly aligned. Just trust yourself. Trust yourself and breathe through it. Number two rule, no pain. Yoga should not be painful at all. Discomfort, yes. It will be discomfort, it, but <laughs> it will be uncomfortable. <laughs> but it should not, nor ever be painful. You should not be feeling any sharp, no shooting, no, no like tingling sensations. If you feel any ounce of pain, gently and slowly back out of your posture and you can always relax in child's pose. Mm. Yeah, you could take child's pose anytime. If you're tired and just need a little break, go ahead, take child's pose. You don't have to wait for your teacher or your instructor to cue you for child's pose. It's always available and always an option in every single moment. But going back to rule one, it takes cueing into yourself, your body, your breath. Rule number three, always link your movement with your breath. Oh my gosh, this is like so important. When our, your teacher is cueing, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. They're not just saying that. They really mean breathe in and breathe out. You could check out my Ujjayi breath yoga video if you want to learn more about breathing. Um, and a great way to breathe when you're in your yoga asana practice. Um, and then rule number four, this will be the last rule. Um, don't take yourself too seriously. Don't worry about where you think you should be or, you know, don't even worry about where you were yesterday. Just focus on yourself in the present moment and yeah release all expectations release all of everything that's no longer serving you and use your practice as a tool to really dive deep within yourself into your presence so you can use it as not just a way to show yourself that you love yourself but also to discover deeper layers of your inner self that maybe you haven't experienced before Allow whatever arises to come up and breathe with it. You don't need to shove anything away or just push things aside. You can be with yourself in your full experience on your mat. And the more you practice this on your mat, the more it translates off your mat as well. Mm, yes, I like to see my yoga practice as a metaphor for life. So. I hope this helps you. I hope this guides you. Let me know what you think. I'm excited for 
new spring yoga classes yay oh my gosh the weather is feeling so nice and it's a really great time to move your body in the name of self-love mm. mm. sending you so much love positive energy and blessings namaste